Hey boys, Val here. Hope you're all keeping safe and uh, yeah, self-isolating and washing your hands. I uh, thought I'd just jump on here and give you a few skills videos and a couple of drills to uh, get yourself over uh, the wee break while we're off school. Uh, this here is for, for everyone from first year all the way to sixth year uh, and I'm just going to give you a few challenges and just a few technical uh, sort of tips on, uh, on how to execute whatever we're going through. So today we're going to talk about the spiral pass. Uh, and it is the most used pass on a rugby field purely because it is the most efficient way to get the ball from A to B It's also the most accurate So it's important that we all learn it. Will we always use a spiral pass? Not always. If we're within the three meter sort of radius We don't have to have the ball. We don't have to get, flick a spiral. We can just be a nice light one But the majority of the time we're going to be passing uh, with a spiral pass So it's best that we get good at it uh, so I'm going to give you a few tips uh, for the first years and second years. If you don't know how to use it already, basically you're going end on end. All right, if I'm passing to my left, the right hand is going to be the dominant one. So right to left, All right? This is going to pull up the back hand and the front hand is going to guide it. It's going to roll over your thumb almost. And on that note, we're going to start my three tips on how to pass, spiral pass, well. So the first one is it's actually uh, all in the elbow, the forearm, and the fingers, okay? It's really important that we start flicking like this, learning, like, learning how to throw the ball like this, because that's where the spiral comes from, and that's where the accuracy comes from as well. So if we can learn to pass really, really small, so when I say pass small, I'm talking about not using any of our big muscle groups, so our biceps, triceps, shoulders, pectoral pull, we don't need any of that. It's just elbows down, forearm, wrist, fingers, okay? So it's pass small, that's our first thing, right? Some of you lads who are still learning how to get it, uh, especially our weak side, most of us is from our left to our right. So the other way around for you right now, but it's our left hand at the back. Just learning how to do this. Just flick, nice and small. Right. Right. My second tip for learning how to spiral pass is pass from zero. So when I say zero, say I'm passing to your right, my left, this way. Uh, when I say pass from zero, I'm talking about the middle of your body. This is zero. All right. One towards. The way that you're passing, that's one, <laughs> one away, negative one, right? So zero is here, I want you to learn how to pass from zero because that there makes you focus on all the small micro movements. And if you can do that again, we trust you with the small stuff, learning how to pass small, you're going to be able to do the big stuff really, really well once we incorporate the bigger muscle groups. Third tip, always use your hands to follow through. For the basic reason of if you want the ball to go in a certain trajectory, your hands have to release it the late, as late as possible in that direction. So most people um, learn how to spiral pass and then we tell them, well, make sure you're pointing at, at the direction afterwards. So they throw the ball and then they, once they pass the ball, they autocorrect, make sure their hands are pointing at the thing. That's not exactly how we want you to do it. If you're learning for, to start with, I want you to think. <laughs> If I need to pass it to my man over here, Hugh, right? Hugh's not there, he's imaginary. I'm going to make sure that my hands are releasing the ball towards him. Not behind me, not in front of him, but pointing at him. And that's why we say, make sure your fingers are pointing at, at your target at the end. There are three tips, and I'm going to go through three really simple drills. Actually, let's make it four, where we're going to progress uh, the skill. So basically I've got a cone here, down here you can't see it, it's five metres away from the wall and I've got myself a target there. Make sure you get yourself a target, whether you're in a car park or the driveway or a courtyard, you don't need a heap of space, five metres will do. Make sure you've got a target so you've got something to aim for. So first drill, I'm just going to get you to warm up your wrist by standing front on to your target and the ball, your hands in the fat of the ball, so the wide part not on the ends like you normally would. Just in there, and we're just warming up by pushing and passing both ways, all right? So here's my example, aiming at this, follow through as well, hands. 
Straight out. Yeah. We, we, we got him. A little bit high. Hit the box too much. Great, this is the first one. Uh, the second one is what we call pistol passing. You would have done this with me in the past. Pistol passing. So I'll be standing side on to my target. So I'll be going this way. Again, ball from zero. I want your backhand just under it slightly. And we're gonna push <laughs> from A to B. So we call this our passing line. All right, our hand, if you take the ball away, it's going from here, A, to B. And we're just gonna use uh, one hand at a time. We're gonna try and hit that target. So this one's a little bit harder to hit the target, but you get the general idea. Just going from zero, A, to B. Now to progress that, we're just gonna get our guiding hand, the front hand, so in this case, my left hand. And we're just gonna go from zero again, and we're gonna finish out. Without the ball, it looks like this, A to B, that passing line. See how it goes. Final progression. Basically, you're going to pop to yourself in the middle there, and I want you to catch and see if you can shift it as quick as you can. By the way, this is my work, bad passing hand, so I am working on it. Let's check it out. So, pop from there to zero. That's it, there's your forward basic drills. Once you do that, uh, you can start a little competition, maybe with a sibling or maybe your parents. See if you can hit 10 on each side. So first on your, passing to your left, then 10 on the other side, and see who wins. Check out some videos if you want to boys, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with a, with a different video. Cheers.